So, after this entire section covering about eight to nine topics, we come to a very important part of integration that is definite integration. In fact, this part of integration is what is we practically apply in daily life. So, if we go back to how we started integration, I told you that uh, suppose you have a curve here like this, it goes on like this and I want to find the area under the curve. Now, obviously this curve possibly is infinite and hence all the things that we have done till now are indefinite integration wherein the domain was not mentioned. But suppose I want to find the area from here to here. Something as simple as this, suppose you want to find the distance covered when a vehicle is operating, is walking, is uh, moving around at a particular rate of change of speed. <clears throat> you want to find the distance between the second second and the 29th second. So from one end to another. So you are going to find out this particular area. So how do we do this? So we can call this, suppose this is this particular function is denoted by f of x and a comma b is the domain. So we write this symbol this way f of x dx from a to b or rather from b to a. This is the upper limit, this is the lower limit. So b to a that means you find the value of this integral. Suppose there is a function uh, x square plus 2x plus 5 and you want to find the value of this from say 5 to 2. So it's going to be <coughs> integral of x square which is going to be x cubed by 3 plus 2x square by 2 which is x square plus 5x. This is the integral plus a constant you say. Okay. Now, you are going to find it from 5 to 2. So, you, this means that you are going to cover this, this much minus this much will give you this area. So, it is going to be the value of this that is 5 cube by 3 plus 5 square plus 5 into 5 plus k. That will give you this whole thing till here from here to here up to here. From that you subtract away this, so you get this part, minus the lower limit is 2, so 2 cubed by 3, minus 2 square, minus 5 into 2, minus k. So k and minus k will get cancelled. So in all integrals, when it comes to definite integrals, it makes no sense in writing k and k. You, in definite integral, the concept of constant will not be involved because the constant in any case is bound to get cancelled. So, this is the value that you are going to get 5 cubed by 3 minus 2 cubed by 3, that is 125 minus 8, 117 by 3, 5 square minus 2 square, that is 21, and then 25 minus 10 plus 15. So this will be the value of this particular integral. This is called the concept of definite integration. That means integration the whose integral whose actual value is known because the domain has been specified. So we call it as definite integration. Okay.